Yeah, welcome back. We laugh, we laugh. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the travel thermos. Mm. It's basically uh, uh, showing you guys what we have at home and how we make travel teas on the road. And feel free to leave your comment if you also love to mm. travel with tea. Yeah, definitely. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And click the notification bell so you'll know whenever we make a new video, we cover all kinds of cool stuff. Tea travel, how to brew, which thermoses we have and what works for us. Let's get into it. So in general, we have, a, I think, a three kind of a... Uh, travel, thermos, brewing, or even tea boiling vessel. Okay, I'm curious to hear what they are. <laughs> I never uh, enumerated them like that, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I be, when I was trying to organize and thinking about this right. video, I'm trying to like make things in a more organized way. Right, right. So that's how I realized, hey, we have a different purpose for different things. Right. So the first uh, uh, category, the first type that we have quite mm -hmm. a number of are the more regular like a tea, a uh, mug, a uh, tumbler, oh, still have tea in it. This is, a, I think start with this one. So it, <laughs> this got a little this black morning. tea from this morning. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is a, one of the, the our favorite, the most used, right. like every morning we use this. Yeah. This is a... a Not just travel mug, it's kind of like our teapot. Right, it's a Hario. It's a Hario, so it yeah, it's a Hario. Um, it's meant to be a cold, cold brewing brew. vessel. Right, but it also says it can be used for hot, mm. and, which is almost a, exactly how we use it. So just yeah, to use only, that like yeah. a mm. thermos. And this is a... This uh, is our makeshift sleeve. The, one, the downside of the Hario as a hot brewing mm. device is it's single walled glass. Yes. So once this is filled with boiling water, no touchy. No touchy. You gotta put a cloth or right. something. And on this it. is not. It doesn't come with a sleeve like that. No, we had to. Used just, to have a body yeah. that got broken. But you could use but a tea towel perfect. or something if you wanted to yes. hot brew in it. Where you are like us, I have a lot mm. of uh, stuff. They also break, right? So mm -hmm. that's we even how take this, this on the road sometimes. A lot um, of times. Yeah, a lot of time because it cools fast. Yes, we love the volume, and it, because it's single wall. It cools mm -hmm. so fast. No thermos qualities for this. It's not meant to do that. Yes. And we so like that, that if I want to sip, I can sip right away. If yeah. I'm just going out for an hour or two, I don't want to bring like a, a really thermos thermos that by the end of my trip, I still cannot sip yeah. because it's too hot. <laughs> yes. Right. And we have different sizes, the smaller ones, bigger mm -hmm. ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, they all have, I would say, different uh, uh, abilities of a... Uh, heat retention right. so De that oh, definitely. these ones I can drink a little bit quicker, like Sooner, Starbucks right? ones. This right. is a mystery one. Sometimes it really does a great yes. job. Sometimes it cools super fast. Yeah, like sometimes a, it stays hot forever, but other times we can drink it. It's really, and we do have no idea why. We've been yeah. trying to figure it out. Yeah, but those I always love but to these bring. these two are pretty steady, right? Yes, mm. and this is a... Uh, Thermos, thermos. Yeah, this so one. This one is really a heat retainer. Really the heat. Yeah. Uh, but when I go out, I usually do some combination like this, so that mm. I can drink this uh, bottle first. Again, if it's a long trip or hours of a, you know grocery shopping or uh, in the car long distance, I bring several like plan them out. Oh yeah, for sure. And this one is a cool one. That this was uh, really gifted by a uh, Toronto mm. Tea Festival, which have really it fancy... It can be set up in different configurations. Mm. It has a really fancy inside that can separate the tea leaves from the tea liquor so that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you can have a clean sip you don't, if you don't want to filter the tea yeah. leaves with your... Yeah, if you don't want to grandpa style or yeah. filter it with your teeth. Yes. Which but we often do. Yes, yeah, somehow I feel like it still needs a little improvement. Yeah, There's something I was going to mention that. It's, we, yeah. we rarely use all the fancy stuff up, t up top, the filter especially. But the nice thing is, is you don't need to use the filter. You can just remove it and, and put the lid on and it's got this valve. I forgot what exactly was the trouble, but uh, I remember 
<laughs> we have little like a spill or something. Yeah, it's pretty tricky to use. Because it of the looks... hot, uh, the crate that. Uh, uh, the pop. The pop or something. I don't know. A anyway, we never use it because first we're not adverse to grandpa style, and second, there's some. It it doesn't quite do the job. Like what in principle, if the leaf would be down here. You know, it, you fill this chamber and then seal it, and then you could have a sip from the a little sip, and this would also cool a bit quicker. But it just didn't seem to be practical uh, for us. Mm. It didn't work well. So if you're going to get something fancy, maybe. But we still use that we as a yeah. regular, like a grandpa style. Put yeah. the leaves yeah. and stuff. Yeah, because and the lid are... fits on the bottom. Just yes. use it like that. Anyway. And it has a Lego flavor of mix and match. So fun to play with it. <laughs> yes, and uh, there are many of these kind of uh, uh, complicated uh, designed ones out mm. in the market. Uh, when you, I think, when you were considering buying this, uh, I don't know. It's Just possible to do a hot water test, but uh, somehow like uh, to see their product uh, introduction about how they actually works and stuff would be. Yeah, I would say just you know, do your research and fiddle bit. around with it and, and mm. make sure it's going to do what you want it to do. Because this one kind of surprised us mm. as not being as good as we thought yeah. when we first saw it. It's yeah, because we were a, super excited yeah, and a, I had my eye on this kind of a mm. functional uh, travel uh, thermos for a while. Okay, our second type, which is I think a little bit... Uh, this was a big... This was a cool addition to the family, I think, after our last tea trip, right? Yes. This one was is very exciting, okay? You might want to sit down, pay close attention, and brace for impact. <laughs> okay, this is going to blow is your a mind. cool thing, and I think the best way, like we test, like a try out with this uh, uh, travel mug for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I think we both agree that the best way would be more of a city use. Where in Canada you don't have, if you want to do gong fu tea, yes, if you, this is for gong fu tea, it's not a mm. throwing tea and a Yes, oh go. yeah, definitely. So if you want to do gong fu tea and you're, uh, you know, in the city, r around the mm -hmm. city, where in North America usually you have access to, you know, uh, water fountain, those kind right. of things. but no access to hot water. No hot water, right. this is the vessel that we bring, we mm. used to go to library sometimes to change yeah. the environment. Even work. if you're traveling, like if you're doing like a hippity hop business trip all over the place, mm. you're gonna have, you're gonna be in airports or bus stations where you have access to Airport. electricity or hotels. Yes. You'll have a plug or an outlet somewhere, which is yes. key here. Yes. Uh, so this is a water boiler. It boils water. It can also be used as a like a regular travel mug. We don't a thermos, use, right? A thermos. It's got reasonable thermos ability. Yes. We don't use that for putting uh, tea leaves in it because mm. we do gong fu brew. I don't want it to have that uh, yeah. tea taint, You don't want to taint the inside with Absolutely. the flavor and, and the, the little stains you're going to get. Yes, and the plug is hidden on the bottom. So that's pretty cool. It's a Chinese, it's a Chinese uh, uh, plug. Yes, it's a Chinese outlet and made for 220. Yes, so what happens is uh, uh, for, uh, first, we would have to put uh, uh, the head. Yeah, the adapter so the that it adapter. will fit. Yes, and also it's a much slower. Like uh, in China, mm. I use this and it's five minutes, the water is boiled. But uh, when it's here in Canada, it takes about, about 20. 20 minutes, which I thought was pretty nice uh, cadence. Every 20 minutes, yeah. you have a some hot water brew yes. you will yeah, never no, it, it's actually perfect i've used this in the office with my travel set and yeah it, it, it works out exactly as you said it makes me about uh three of my the guy one size i happen to use i get about three infusions and by the time i'm done uh, i'm ready to rock again give me a little break while the water boils and come yeah back. so, so you really never nice. have a pot of a, like a serving pot of a cold uh, mm -hmm. tea yeah. and you feel T4 is really a uh, nice size and uh, very functional. Um, and it pours pretty well too, which mm. I guess is important for yes. uh, Gung Fu brewing. I found in the office, I can use this, like, do, you know, you want a kettle with a nice spout. Obviously, we don't have the luxury of a spout here. I never even thought of but that. The, no, the, but I, yeah. when you, as soon as you mentioned it, I was like, yeah, I never had trouble with the pouring and mm. everything. I have really good control. It's not mm. drippy. Yep. Yes. It's pretty awesome. This thing, I love this thing. Mm. Okay. 
This is the newest addition to our travel family. The big guns. This makes it really easy, possible, easy to literally uh, gongfu anywhere、oh、out、gosh. in the woods. Yeah, you know, I should interrupt. I should tell them because they're going to think we're sponsored by Zoji Rushi、okay. because we have <laughs> nothing but good things to say about this thermos、mm. and anything from Zoji. So we're not sponsored. First, by, this is from Zoji Rushi. It's from Zoji Rushi.、Mm. It's a two-liter thermos. We're not sponsored by them, but Zoji Rushi, if you want to call us and、uh, pro, you know, we will. We would be sponsored by you. We'd love because、that. we use、We'd、a lot use of their products, and they're so、them. like they're just so gold. Well so for the thermos. First, Where do we even start? I hot, think the size, water retention, heat retention, heat retention. Right, that's one. Jaw dropping. Yes.、Uh, so we have been shopping to look for a、uh, first a big was hard to look for two、mm. liter size. It was like、uh, I only found another one, which is、uh, by Thermos, and I will mention later about why we choose this one、mm-hmm. rather than Thermos.、Mm-hmm. In terms of、uh, heat retention, I have no concern about Thermos. Right, they. The brand they thermos, do the they, do the they do the job. That's why they become the name. That's right. And、uh, the size, they are the only one I found at least on、uh, Amazon's and some local stores, Costco. Yeah, with a cursory、store. search, they,、yes. they were the only other people who had a good size,、mm. you know, amount of water. Right. And、uh, if you are looking for some thermos that really keeps the heat, ha- they must. Have a little hat on it. A lot of North American that on the market that、uh, advertise as a keep the water hot、right. six hours, eight hours. Those are like there's temperature, but it's not for gongfu brewing. Yeah, this thing has to be. This is the key part. The part that goes on、and、the hot water needs to be fat. And this one. And you need an you outer need one too. Need outer one to keep、yeah. the everything in. Yeah. They、uh, most of them don't have this little bowl, which、mm. if you touch the 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 lid or the top of those uh, uh, thermos, they are warm、mm-hmm. and they can keep the water warm to drink, but it's not a tea brewing temperature. That's right. And、uh, the the reason why we chose this one,、mm-hmm. not the thermos one, is because the opening. So it, it, the the design, okay, as a, as, as an engineer. <laughs> So sexy and so well thought out. Proceed. <laughs> it's just a something that、Watch、we、this. both love so much. So all you need to do is just press that, and it opens. It pours nicely and controlling. It's, it's not going to spray or spout like a whale and and、mm-hmm. get you misty in boiling hot water. Yes. It's beautiful design. Yes, and also to close it is、and、just push that in. The pour from this spout too is. Is、uh, it's just what you want. It's not so narrow that it's annoyingly slow、mm-hmm. and cooling. It's、mm. just wide enough for for gongfu. It's perfect. Yes, it's perfect for、mm. gongfu. So the importance of this kind of opening, while Thermos chose to use the screwing method, which、uh, I guess for guys like you, that's no, totally fine. Even for us, for, it can be pretty like, punishing as yeah, the inside the, cools and the lid. We put boiling water in it, and everything sucks in, and I just. Oftentimes、yeah. I couldn't open that. You got to use an iron grip to get that undone the first time. Right, but this one I don't have to worry. It's Just a press. press is perfect. On the other hand, what、uh, there are those details that make me feel like, oh, oh this is gold, because like a, a lot of times I don't know if you feel if you feel in stuff, especially liquid, you want to like seal it, or screw it as tight as possible,、mm-hmm, but you、mm-hmm. never know if it's fully tight. Right, and if you put that in your backpack or anywhere, you don't want to make a mess. And this one, when it closes,、so、you, I don't have to wonder if it's tight enough. Yeah, yeah. It just clicks, and it's easy、yeah. and simple. Both of the lids do that. They have a full. This is the only spot it can go. It cannot be crooked, and、mm. the inner lid even has that. You know, it's tight. It's, yeah, it's not、no、going to leak. It's worries in that. I think we have a minor complaint after a hike. Was、uh, I think you mentioned something about the stripe? The stripe? strap. The strap. Yeah. I don't know. It's first. Is that? Um. Honestly, I was gonna. It comes with a nice strap. It can be、uh, lengthened out so you can actually sling it over your shoulder.、Mm-hmm. Um. I don't remember the complaint. It's kind of nice that it even has it, but honestly, I would be not too likely to use it. I'm more likely to tuck this in a backpack. It's、mm. pretty heavy when it's full. It just you know, sometimes the backpack five, is full, pounds. and、uh, you want to strap that、mm. uh, against your body.、Uh, yeah, it. I don't. It re- was. 
I don't remember what it, it wasn't. Remember, it wasn't ideal. I remember it, it, it was a hangs little funny, but yes, it wasn't fully like comfy. Yeah. Uh, so ideal that you have. And this is pretty comfy. This handle pops out, and you can carry it like this, pretty handy. But again, it's a little heavy to have in your hand for a long hike. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. But in the end, I think like if you put that in your backpack or somewhere, not to use the strap. Like this is not uh, you. You see like a camping gear that is a really for your body right, weight, right. everything strap is a strap for, you know, handy use yeah, kind yeah. of thing. I haven't gone on a long trip either. You could probably use the strap to rig it up to a backpack. So it would be kind of stuck there, maybe in a clever way. But again, we're going outside the norm. But that's what it's great for. For me, you can go on a long hike. You've got two liters of boiling water ready to go. I know this is a... A kind of a, a funny video during this uh, pandemic right. time where a lot so of so many places are locked down right we don't even down. remember much about how to travel but mm -hmm. uh, there's still chances we could get out in the woods mm -hmm. in the forest if you're uh, you know your season where environment allows it's great to have a little you know exercise outdoors yeah instead yeah we of did use this inside. one the first time during our first lockdown and it was great mm. So, uh, do you guys travel with tea? Do you uh, brew tea on the road, go for anywhere? Yeah, do you have your, your favorite thermos and why? We'd love to know, like, kind of what are your tips and tricks for making Gong Fu possible? Because, it, again, it's all about that hot water ready to go. So, if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you will stay up to date with all our videos and lives. And until next time, Keep sleeping. Keep sleeping.